Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Then they came to Capernaum, and on the Sabbath Jesus entered the synagogue and taught. The people were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. In their synagogue was a man with an unclean spirit. He cried out, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him and said, Quiet, come out of him. The unclean spirit convulsed him, and with a loud cry came out of him. All were amazed and asked one another, What is this? A new teaching with authority. He commands even the unclean spirits, and they obey him. His fame spread everywhere throughout the whole region of Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. Since I got back from our pilgrimage to the Holy Land this week, Many people have asked me, Well, were you safe? And I think I surprised some of them by my answer. I said, Well, we were attacked by a set of battles, but somehow we survived the assault. I know what they're thinking. They were wondering, was there any trouble with terrorism, with fighting, with conflict? But as I've said more than once, there are far more people who had been wounded by potholes and cracked sidewalks in the Holy Land than ever by terrorists. It's just that potholes aren't very exciting, although If you've ever thought you've seen the biggest potholes of your life in Minnesota, (laughs) nothing can top the ones over there. In fact, I gave the pilgrims Father Bear's instruction for visiting the Holy Land 101. Never walk and look around at the same time. If you want to see something, stop look at it, and then walk again. But woe to the people that think they can do both at the same time. I have been on several pilgrimages to the Holy Land, and many times people have missed a step or stepped into a pothole. I remember one woman at the beautiful, beautiful church in Nazareth, Oh, she was looking around so prayerfully, but she missed one little step and shattered her femur. Her leg bone was broken, and she spent the entire pilgrimage in a little hospital in Nazareth. Now, if you don't know about the hospitals over there, you might enjoy a saying that was popular years ago. It said, if you ever get injured or sick in the Holy Land, call for Dr. Twa, T-W-A. Get a plane and get yourself back to a hospital in America. But you know, the same thing can be true in the spiritual life. We had in our gospel today a very dramatic story of a deliverance. This poor soul possessed by a demon, and our Lord casts him out. Very dramatic and quite unusual. No, it still happens. It does still happen from time to time. But for most of us, what gets us are not terrorists, but potholes. What can get most of us are not dramatic crazy demonic activity, but those simple, everyday temptations and spiritual attacks, entertaining just a little bit of envy, harboring 
just a touch of resentment. Letting our eyes look at just, oh, just something on the computer that's not good for our eyes to look at. And none of that seems very dramatic. None of that seems worthy of Hollywood. And yet that's the kind of spiritual warfare most of us face most of the time. And again, like a good old pothole down the streets of Nazareth, that dumb little pothole can get us. Today, at this Mass, I hope all of us will look to Holy Communion, the strength that comes from the body and blood of Jesus Christ right here at Mass, as strength to help us with those potholes, with those little nagging temptations, those thoughts, those challenges to walking in Christ. They don't seem like much, but they can get us. Lord, please, through the strength and grace of your precious body and blood, give us eyes to see clearly what's going on around us, the thoughts that are coming into our minds, the temptations that can trip us up. Oh, Jesus, help us to keep straight on the true path and let no cracked sidewalks, no spiritual potholes, no subtle, subtle temptations of Satan cause us to fall. Jesus, keep us standing. <laughs>